in terms of what we, we aim to achieve, it's staff and student satisfaction is key. Being able to move throughout the campus, being able to travel internationally and, and integrate with the campus environment is, is critical. Uh, so BYOD and mobility supports all of that. Okay, the, again, the very nature of what the university does in terms of teaching, learning and research, the, the challenges are, are quite, uh, quite complex. I think having supported BYOD in, in the sector for between kind of 10 and 15 years, I think we've, we've, we've learned quite, quite a lot on the way. Uh, as an organisation, we've embraced, embraced BYOD really because we've had to, uh, right from really day one when the first student turned up with a laptop and expected to kind of plug it into our network. I think getting through the challenges has been working with the, with the user base, uh, critical to, to actually deliver services that are what the, the staff and students want rather than deliver it for the, for the sake of, of, of doing so. Yeah, I think we're already starting to see uh, wearable technology and the fact that uh, watches are now coming uh, that can integrate with, with, with Apple devices. We're seeing the first students uh, arriving with these already. I think the challenge in our organisation is going to be the additional burden, not only on the support infrastructure, but also on the, on the physical network environment, uh, simply because that's going to increase the bandwidth we're required to provide even further, and the support challenges are going to get even more complex. OK, end user experience. Other than security, that's probably one of the top uh, critical critical factors in terms of uh, you know if the, if the user's dissatisfied, if they're not getting the service they want, then simply I'm not doing my job as, as CIO. So it's absolutely fundamental. It's something we measure all the time. It's something we take great pride in, and I think it's critical in terms of attracting the next population of students and retaining the, the kind of calibre of academic staff that we want to. I think uh, the the IT threat landscape. One of the challenges there is is with the you know the, the increasingly complex environment, uh, more and more devices that are connected, the internet of things brings its whole new set of challenges in terms of different types of cyber threats, malware, uh, endpoint infections, more sophisticated zero day attacks uh, that simply, that, you know, round the corner we really don't know what to, we, we don't know and I think uh, the landscape gets ever more complex simply because it's now an easier way, you know, in, in the past you might have robbed a bank by turning up with a shotgun these days you can do the same online from your bedroom somewhere else in the world. I think the, the whole issue of privacy is right, right up the agenda. It's become a kind of social issue and I think uh, organisations really need to address that by having clear policies as to what people's data will be used for to, to satisfy data protection legislation. But also uh, it's key that, that, that in, in the case of university staff and students are aware of what we're going to do with the data and they're happy that the way the data is processed and, and, and held securely. I think the challenges going forward, particularly to do with location tracking, brings a whole new element of kind of privacy concerns into the, into the space we've never had to deal with before. OK, looking forward, I think we're only going to see a further proliferation of devices, uh, different types of tablet, different types of, uh, of laptop devices. Device form factors are going to get smaller. Uh, I talked earlier about the Internet of Things different devices that at the moment don't don't connect up to our network will, will be required to do so. So I think going forward it's going to be more of the same but at a faster and more rapid pace.